Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. So today I'm going to show you how I got this cranberry gold fall look. I'm absolutely in love with it and it was really easy to create. So if you guys want to learn how to get this look, then just keep watching. So I've already primed my eyes and filled in my eyebrows like I usually do because that's boring and no one wants to watch that. But I'm going to try to create this look here that I found on Instagram really pretty has like the lid is very gold and the crease is like red cranberry shades it's a very fall appropriate look so i want to recreate it so let's get started i'm gonna take this brown shade in the morphe palette you want to buff that in your crease it's just going to be our transition shade as always You want to take your big fluffy brush and just buff that everywhere. You don't have to be precise. Just want to get that color in your crease. I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics palette. This is my first palette I ever bought. I'm going to take like this deep red shade. It kind of looks pink on camera, but it's red. So I'm going to use the same fluffy brush again because... It's red. And I kind of want to diffuse the color before I build it up. So. I'm hoping this doesn't look too pink. That same palette and take this more cranberry shade. I'm going to take that shade and just take a more dense brush and kind of deepen that crease up with that cranberry shade. It's okay if it looks messy now. We're obviously going to clean it up. But you're just getting all those colors blended. The key to any eyeshadow look is just to keep blending, even when you think it looks kind of sloppy. Like, just keep blending. See how, like, there's a harsh line right here? We're obviously going to blend that. But you just want to get the colors on as best as possible. Then I'm going to take another medium brown shade. Taking that fluffy brush again, I'm going to buff my crease in. See how it's so much more blended now? See? Oh, it's more blended than this, how this is like blended and this is kind of silver line. And obviously the red is really high, but we're going to clean that up when we uh, highlight our brow bone. We're going to take this deeper, like cranberry shade, and we're just doing this in this area right here. So it's bringing us more depth to the look. Now we're going to take that brown shade and it has like red undertones as well but I want to deepen the crease because I feel like this is a little too much red so we're gonna even take that lower take it a little bit on the outer V too I just want to deepen this up right here Now I'm going to clean up my lid space with concealer. So I'm 
to really get that gold vibrant color we're gonna take this gold cream shadow from l'oreal we're gonna put that on our lid before we put that gold pigment this is just gonna help the pigment stick as well as show up more true to color now we're gonna take this gold pigment from inglot I really want to wet that brush so it's more metallic. Okay, I'm going to apply eyeliner on my lashes, then I'll be right back. So I'm going to prime my face with the Makeup Forever Step 1. I use this to blur out my pores and it also makes your foundation last longer and it protects your skin with the foundation so your foundation doesn't go into your pores and for today's foundation I'm going to use the Sephora airbrush foundation I'm going to drag the concealer in the upside down triangle, kind of. Touch in my nose, a little bit on my forehead, and a little on my chin. We're going to bake. We're going to leave this on for 20 seconds. And this helps if you're really oily. Once you bake, your, you know, your T-zone doesn't get as oily as fast as it usually would without baking. So that's why I bake. I'm going to leave that for 20 seconds and I'll be back. Now we're going to bronze the face. I'm going to use this brown shade in this BH Cosmetics palette and bronze up my face. I'm not going to contour today, mainly because I have no time. <laughs> I'm going to use this pinky blush shade in the palette as well we're gonna finish the eyes so we're gonna take that darker cranberry shade in the morphe palette and just buff that in our lash line Then I'm going to add some mascara to my false lashes to blend with my real lashes. I'm going to take these two highlight shades from the Jaclyn palette, mix both Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop.
Alright guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy.